Hi, hello, it's Maya. Welcome back to my channel. You're gonna notice in like two, three, I don't know, however many minutes that I'm gonna look different. That's because I recorded this yesterday, but the entire fucking intro was out of focus. I don't know why, but it like focused on the bed behind me and not me. And I'm blind, so I didn't notice. <laughs> so I had to redo the intro because it bothered the absolute hell out of me. So you can follow me on Instagram, you can follow me on Twitter, and Today's video is sponsored, but it's not. Um, I've mentioned this brand before on my channel and I've done like sponsored posts on Instagram for them, but I mentioned that I would do like a whole little section on a video because I always have a discount code with them, but I never got commission for it, but I'm gonna get commission for it because I'm offering to do this. So said company is Studio. They are a headphone brand, earphone, music, whatever you would like to call it. This is gonna be my third time working with them. All of their headphones that I've tried so far have been wireless, just like normal Bluetooth headphones. I've liked all of them. Sound quality is great. I would not be working with them three times if I did not like them. These are the ones that they just recently released. I think it's the AirPod Pros that they're like kind of like, it's whatever the one where you take it out and it's got the actual like nub on it, not like the normal normal like Apple style headphones, which I don't like those style headphones because they don't stay in my ears. So anyways, they come with their own little carrying case. The case itself is chargeable and then it will charge the headphones. You don't have to like have the case plugged into the wall in order to charge the headphones. You can just have the case and have the headphones in there and they'll like they're charging right now because they're just chilling in there. They have like little lights at the bottom so that it tells you how much charge is left on them. As for the headphones themselves, you just take them out and they'll automatically connect to your phone. I personally like these because they just slip right in and chill in your ear and you don't gotta worry about it. When it comes to headphones, I really don't worry too much about anything except for just sound quality and the fact that they stay in my ears because I have really pressured ears. So if I put just like regular old earphones in, my head will literally push them out. I don't know why. But yeah, they are basically just a cheaper version of the AirPods. I 100% recommend them. Like I said, I've worked with them before and I've liked all the headphones that they've sent me. I've three right here. They are kind of pricey, but I do think that the quality is worth it. Plus, with my discount code, 15 inches off, you can get 15% off your order, and then I will receive a 10% commission for that. So thank you once again to Studio for constantly working with me, constantly sending me these headphones, giving me discount codes to share with you guys. It's greatly appreciated. And now let's get into today's video, which it's kind of random, and I was kind of debating on if I even wanted to make this in general, because I had gotten some requests, but honestly, I was like, do I really care? And the answer to that is yes and no. But I'm doing it because I think that I can like mesh two things together, and that is the idea of consumerism and over consuming products that we don't need and just makeup in general that you guys just want to see because I do understand I still watch makeup videos even though I really don't buy like any new products and what I do buy is generally just like restocks of what I already have because I like them but that being said I went through a really big phase in probably from like 2014 to 2017 ish where I went way the fuck out with my makeup I spent way too much money on makeup all the time I've tried so many foundations so many different concealers. It's just a lot. Granted, I and you, all of us, will make our own decisions for ourselves. I'm not gonna say that Instagram influencers influence me or anything, but what I will say is that there is a vibe that gets put off in like the makeup industry where it's not like you can just have one foundation, one eyeshadow palette, one this, one that. Like you gotta have it all. And really it's like you don't. Like I'm telling you right now, if you're like kind of one of those people or you think that you're in the mindset of that, you don't need all that makeup. It makes sense for YouTubers to have that much makeup because they're constantly getting sent products, they're constantly reviewing things. But for like an average everyday person, out of all the stuff that I own, and honestly, I've probably got rid of about like half of what I used to own and I still own a lot. I only use maybe like a fourth of it daily, maybe not even a fourth of it daily. Like I don't, I do the same stuff all the time and there's, there's no issue with that. Like I kind of found what I'm comfortable with and I stick with that and that's fine. This isn't to bash anybody else. If you're somebody who likes to go all out with different fucking makeup looks and create like colorful ass looks every day and do something different every day. That's great. I used to be one of those people. I am just saying that in the long run, your taste can change, your style can change. You can find things that work for you and then just not like feel the urge or the need to try other products because you already have these things that you like. So yeah, um, the video is going to be at a like downward angle <laughs> on the floor because all my makeup is shoved into that corner over there at the end of my bed and it's very dark and I would be covering up half the makeup because I it's a very small area so I had to pull everything out but I will like put in an overview of just what it all what the setup looks like I guess and yeah 
yeah, let's get into the video. Let's go to yesterday me so she can start talking to you. Okay, I'm gonna start with the brushes right away because this is really quick and easy. These are all Real Techniques, BH Cosmetics, Morphe, and then cheap ass Amazon fucking brushes that I got for like, I don't know, I think it was like a 20 pack for like 13 bucks. They're brushes. You don't need some expensive ass Sigma brushes. Are they nice to have? Yes, but at the end of the day, if I can blend my eyeshadow using a $1 fucking brush, then I'm gonna do it. So yeah, brushes are actually something that I like genuinely need and use. I actually use every single one of them at one point or another. This one is a Real Techniques brush, but I use this for like bronzer. This is a Morphe M500. I'll use this for blush sometimes. This I'm pretty sure is an old e.l.f. brush. If I'm not mistaken. And then this one is one of those Amazon brushes. I'll use these for highlight. This is also a Real Techniques brush. I'll use this for um, like cream highlights. This is a BH Cosmetics Studio Pro number three brush. It's really dense, so I use it for cream blushes. This is another Amazon brush that I'll use for contouring. And then other than that, this is a Morphe E11. I'll use this for like my brows if I'm using powder. And then for creams, I will use my Anastasia one. I don't know what the fuck this one's called, but it's a little angled brush and it's got a, a spoolie at the end of it. We're gonna start with this container and we're gonna start with this one because this one holds most of the stuff that I use every day, at least like basic face products. My alarm is going off. Okay, I lied. I've decided I'm gonna do it like this because I think that this is easier. So first thing we have is this Maybelline Master Prime primer. I use this occasionally. I'm just gonna grab all these in a big fucking stack. This is a NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. These I actually do like. I don't really wear lipstick products often, but this one looks like really natural on me, so I do actually like that. Uh, this is a Jeffree Star liquid lipstick. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna try not to like dwell on these things for too long, but yeah, you guys know how I feel about Jeffree Star now. I actually have a lot of his liquid lipsticks. I think maybe like six other ones. So there's that. This is a ColourPop lip gloss that I will use occasionally. And then we have two of these Anastasia contour sticks. They're both in the shade Fawn and uh, this one is obviously getting low. So that's why I have a second one. And this actually is a product that I'll use every day. If I don't use it to actually contour my face, I'll use it to contour my nose. It's like a perfect contour shade for me. Okay, middle stack. We have this ColourPop, fuck is this? <laughs> ColourPop lip liner. This is ColourPop Brow Boss Gel. I actually use this almost every day. And then this is the other brow gel that I'll use every day. It's an Anastasia one. This one is lighter than the darker one. So if I want like dark brows, I'll use that one. If I want light brows, I'll use this one. Milani Liquid Lip Gloss that I don't really use. This is another NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream that I don't use because I don't like the color. These are the three mascaras that I own, but um, it's weird. I don't really use this one that much. Hello, cat. What are you doing? <laughs> I don't really use this one that much. So we're gonna throw that away. I really like the Milk Makeup one. I just have not repurchased this one, but I do like this one from Maybelline, but I don't like the brush. So what I do is I'll take the brush. I'll take the brush from this one and I will rub it on this brush and then I'll use this brush, put it on my eyes. Does that make sense? Whatever. Then we have this liquid liner from The Balm. It's their Schwing liner. Honestly, this is one of the best liquid liners ever. It dries super matte. The only thing is that it's not waterproof, so I don't really like to use it that often. 100% recommend if you don't have like watery eyes or anything, and if you're not good with like gel liner or any other kind of liner, I'm telling, buy this, okay? Just, and then this is another Jeffree Star liquid lipstick. However, this is what I use for my freckles. So I'll either use it like straight on or I dilute it with jojoba oil. Okay, last section. This is ColourPop So Juicy Pumpin' Lip Gloss. It's just a clear one. I like it. It makes me have DSL lips so that's great and then these are ColourPop blush sticks and highlights oops these I do use. I'm really into like cream products. That's my thing now. Okay, so this section just has the Anastasia Brow Powder Duo. This is an ash brown. I'll use this when I'm having a lazy day and I don't feel like actually putting effort into my brows. Then I have three ColourPop Super Shock Blush cheek highlight stick pot thingies. God, I'm so great at this. This one is lunch money. I'll use this for like a lighter highlight. This is flexitarian. This one I use every single day because it's bright and white as shit and it makes me look wet as hell and I love it. So no matter what highlight that I have on, I'm always gonna put this on top. And then this is a highlight too. However, it's obviously too dark for me. So I'll use this as like a blush topper because it's kind of got like a rose gold tint and I fucks with it. So this is a random elf lipstick. Literally, this thing is probably from like 2013. So that's really disgusting, but I still 
still own it because I'm allowed to. Then I have this Glam Glow, I don't know what the fuck this is. Mega Illuminating Moisturizer, blah, blah, blah. Uh, basically, I'll use this like under foundation sometimes, but this was just like a sample thing that you get from ordering shit from Sephora. Okay, these are three concealers that I use. This is the pretty fresh one from ColourPop. I like it, but I don't like it under the eyes because it's super thick and it just does not look good. But then these are both the no filter concealers and I like these a lot better. This one's really white. This one's actually my color. I think this one's 02. This one's 04. And then this is the e.l.f. Uh, Poreless Putty Primer that everybody raved about. There's a hair in it. Of course there is. Am I going to take it out? No. And then down here is just my Dip Brow in Ash Brown, my NARS Pot Concealer, my ColourPop Brow Pomade in Dark Brown, and then my favorite gel eyeliner, which is from NYX, and it's just in jet black, and it's super matte, super black. It's what I use for my eyeliner pretty much every single time. So yeah, this is mostly what I use, like, every single day, obviously, besides, like, foundation and then, like, eye products and more, like, powder face products, so we'll move on to those things next. All right, this is the second container that I have. By the way, all these containers are either from Amazon or Target or Marshalls, so I kind of try to have, like, a rhyme and a reason, but then again, I don't because I get lazy, and sometimes I just throw things every Everywhere, but yeah, so I have like some smaller palettes in here because I want my bigger palettes over in the other thing that I have These are all bronzers right here I'm pretty sure and then blushes right here and then I have I think I have like two highlights over here This is just rubbing alcohol whatever and then I have like some foundations here. So I got this from Marshall's uh, It's not the greatest it says it's like a tinted moisturizer But honestly it just makes your face look like metallic as shit So I don't know I try to use it under foundation or I mix it in but sometimes it looks good Sometimes it doesn't same with this shit from Milani. It's basically the same fucking thing, just cheaper. We have a glue stick. This is a NARS soft matte foundation that I also got from Marshalls. It's not the greatest. Well, no, it's good. It's just very yellow toned. And this I also got from Marshalls. It's just a bare minerals, bare pearl, blah, blah, blah foundation. It's all right. And then we have my favorite foundation from L'Oreal. It's the infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation. This one I've probably rebought in at least like six or seven times now. Out of all these, I use the L'Oreal one the most. This is just a Makeup Forever HD setting powder. Don't use it that much. Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I clearly use it a lot. It's a Makeup Geek Bronzer. Clearly use a lot. It's a very old <laughs> elf bronzer. Jesus Christ. Uh, I used to use it a lot. Now I do not. Hello. It's a Wet n Wild Bronzer. I actually do use this a lot. Got it from the dollar store for a dollar. It's actually really nice. But I also got it like four years ago, so... Uh, yikes. All these are very fucking old, I will tell you that much. And then this is a uh, Milani Baked Bronzer. This one's alright. Uh, I don't know why I don't really use it that much. But yeah. Okay, so I'll show you the highlights first. This is just a wet and wild one. I actually really like this. I just don't use it often because it's kind of got like a pink tint to it. And I don't want a pink tint every day. And then this is the Fenty. I don't know what the fuck it's called. I'll put it on the screen. But basically, it's the one that makes you look wet as shit. And I used to use it a lot. But I kind of try to save it for like special occasions now. Yeah, these two... Wet n Wild Color Icon Blushes. They're two Too Faced Love Flush blushes. You can clearly see which one I like more. Don't use them a lot anymore. This is Milani Luminoso, classic. And then this is Makeup Geek Summer Fling. This is like an orange base bronzer. It doesn't really look like it on camera, but it's very orange. So over here, I just have two colored mascaras from ColourPop. This one is yellow, this one is red. I've also got this like random night hydrating mask and then this expensive fucking, I don't even know. It's from Girl On, where the fuck? Who gives a shit really? All right, then I have my two Anastasia palettes. This one is Modern Renaissance, a classic, literally from 2015, but I still use it, so whatever. And then we have Subculture. Y'all remember the drama with this? I actually like it. Like, I understand that these two, like, kind of were weird and that it is kind of hard to blend, but, like, fucking be patient. Okay, so this is just a Z palette that I have with a bunch of random shadows in it. Some of these are from ColourPop, some of these are Makeup Geek, some of these are Morphe. And this, I honestly, I know it's a bronzer, but I forgot what fucking brand it's from, so there's that. But I try to do more, like, blue cool tones in this one. This is actually just, like, a Mehron face paint palette that I'll use for SFX stuff. This is a Saharan palette by Juvia's Place. I don't use it that much. This is a Morphe 12P. They don't make it anymore, which is a shame because it's actually really fucking nice. So yikes on them for that. And then we have this Tartlet palette, which this is also very old, also from 2015. But I do use it every day because I'll mix these two colors and I'll use that for my nose contour. And then sometimes I'll use this for like my dead eye looks or I'll use the browns for like under my eyes. So it comes in handy. And yeah, that's it for this big ass thing. Okay, so this is gonna be a big clusterfuck and anybody who has OCD is going to hate me. <laughs> Just know that at one point in time, this was all organized. My cat is over here, hi. 
I'm just really fucking lazy, okay? Firstly, actually, I'm gonna go through what I normally have sitting on top of here. These are two on top of each other. We have the classic Nivea Men Post Shave Balm. I don't really use this that much because I don't really, I don't care. <laughs> this is just argan oil. I use this as a moisturizer first thing because I have very dry skin. I also have these two moisturizers. This one is from Mix Easy, and then this one is just a Pond's Dry Skin Cream. I also have some shea butter right here. And then I have this face powder, which I don't really use, but it's just an airspun one. I don't really use powders to set my face anymore. I don't really set my face anymore. So I don't really have any need for this. I mostly just keep this for like SFX stuff. And then I have the Anastasia Dewy Set Setting Mist. I have two of them. One of them has an X on it because this one is because this one is water and this one is the actual like setting spray. This is my favorite setting spray, so if you were wondering. Okay, these are this is a green eyeliner from ColourPop. This is a black eyeliner from ColourPop. And I forgot I had this. This is a white one. Oh, that actually still kind of works. I'm surprised. Uh this is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. Don't really use that. That's another thing. I really don't use fucking anything in here. So why I have them, I don't know. These are two very old e.l.f. lipsticks. This one's black, this one's red. This is a blue ColourPop mascara. This is another NYX uh, soft matte lip cream. These are two uh, ColourPop lippy sticks that I'm actually gonna put at the bottom. I'm gonna maybe try to kind of reorganize this, whatever. Uh, this is a Jeffree Star Celebrity Skin. This is ColourPop Meaty. And yeah. ColourPop highlight that I use as a bronzer. This is a It Cosmetics. I don't even know what the fuck that is, honestly, but I'll use it as an eyeliner. It's like purple based. This is an old ColourPop flexitarian highlight. These two are eyeliners from ColourPop along with this white one that's super dried out. I don't really know what the fuck this is, honestly. It's from Anastasia. It's like a really thick, kind of dried out, creamy consistency. I, I don't know what the hell it is. I'll use it as like a skin tone eyeliner sometimes. That's all I can say. If I'm doing like a no liner liner look, but I haven't done that in a long time, so. This is a Kat Von D brow gel in blonde. This is another ColourPop highlight in Monster. It's got like a pink tint to it. And then this is the LA Girl gel liner in black. And then the ColourPop, and then ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. I'm gonna take that out. This is another ColourPop highlighter that I'm gonna put up here where it goes. Okay, so these are the other Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks that I own. I'm gonna take all that shit out. And I think that's all of them. So I have those. I'll put the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams in there. Don't really use any of that. Some MAC Lipstick and Velvet Teddy. I actually do like that, so. And we have two Lime Crime Liquid Lipsticks. I hate liquid lipsticks. <laughs> these are all the ColourPop Super Shock Shadows, and then these are the, like, the Jelly Much eyeshadows. This is another ColourPop lip gloss that I actually do enjoy. I'm gonna put Meaty back in there. And this is another lip liner that I enjoy by them as well. Oh, okay, we have another soft matte lip cream that I'm gonna put up here, and another MAC lipstick that I'm also going to put up here. This is a Kat Von D liquid lipstick. Don't use it. These are all very old ColourPop lippy sticks, and then these are some more ColourPop liquid lip gloss. So I think I'm gonna take these and just put them up here. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this. Okay, last thing. Moving on to the eyeshadow palettes and face palettes and stuff like that, which I'm sure you guys probably care about the most. We'll start over here and work our way over here. This is the BH Cosmetics 10 Color Nude Blush Palette. I actually do use this a lot. This is an empty ColourPop palette, and I just filled it with two ColourPop blushes and then just a bunch of, like, red tone eyeshadows. I don't know what half these are. Probably ColourPop, Morphe, and Makeup Geek, I'm gonna assume. We have the Anastasia Dream Glow Kit. All pretty much just like a bunch of sparkly, purpley, pinky, whatever toned uh, highlights. And they're really nice actually. Hello, Ella Wynn. Then there's the uh, Moonchild palette, also from Anastasia. Another colorful highlight thingy. And then the Alchemy palette from Kat Von D. And I just wanna make a disclaimer. Like I said, a lot of these are really old. So they were bought before Scandals. So just don't come for me. <laughs> These two are both Anastasia Glow Kits. This one is That Glow, and then this one is Sun Dip. Pretty sure That Glow is the one that was limited edition, which is kind of ass, but whatever. Looks like this. That was like my go-to palette in like 2015. And then here's Sun Dipped. It's all right. It's not as good as uh, That Glow, but I clearly used it. This is a NYX Contour Kit that I broke and lost the cover for, but I use this every day. I use this to contour, I use this to deepen up the contour, sometimes I'll use these as bronzers. I don't really use these that much. I never use this, and I rarely 
use that. Then this is the Galaxy Chic palette from BH Cosmetics. This is that palette where they're all like baked eyeshadows. So if you get them wet, obviously they'll be like super intense. So I really like these. If I'm gonna do like a colorful eye look, honestly, I'll just like wet one of these and just like smear it all over my eye and call it a day. And this is a Morphe palette that was empty that I filled. These are all color pops. This is a bronzer. These are highlights. And then these are once again, all just brown toned single shadows. Morphe, color pop, makeup geek. Etc. Oh, I think there's also some from Colored Rain in here. I'm pretty sure. And these are what is this? One, two, three, four. Yeah, four Morphe palettes. I used to have one or two more. I'm not sure. This one is the 35F. I use this one a lot, the most out of all these, especially these two colors and the orange and the greens because I love me a poopy eye look. This was 35M. My bad. This one is 35F because it's the fall palette. So. If I can open it. Jeez. This was that like really popular palette because it had all the fall colors and all the autumn vibes and then just the bottom row of like simple ass mattes. I actually really do like it. This white right here is like super fucking intense if you can see. Yeah, whatever. But yeah, this is nice, I guess. <laughs> all right, this is a very fucking old Morphe 35C palette. This red, well, actually no, these two reds right here are like the most intense reds you will ever use. Yeah, I mean, obviously they have better stuff now, but this is what I fucks with sometimes. And then lastly from Morphe, the iconic 35O palette, which is broken. This was like one of the only palettes that I owned at one point in time, so I used the absolute shit out of it. Even though it doesn't look like it, but I, I definitely did. And it's kind of sad looking at it now because it's kind of like, why was this so popular? Because I had a bunch of orange shades in it. Like, okay, all right, 2014, go off, I guess. The very last palette is the Mi Vida Loca palette from Kat Von D. It's a really colorful palette. I don't ever fucking use this, but I keep it because I want to. And yeah, that's it for the palettes and stuff. That's pretty much it for all of my makeup. So yeah, um, honestly, out of all that, I probably use a fourth of it. <laughs> which is really bad. But like I said, I occasionally will dabble into other things and I do try to like mix up the things that I use. It's just the fact that like I have my things that I like and I'm gonna stick to that because I know that it looks good. So like, why would I change that, you know? Basically what I will say is that I used to be like Sephora VIB, VIB Rouge or basically whatever the one is where you spend like a thousand dollars in one year just on makeup. That was me. Fucking yikes. So glad I don't do that anymore. I only buy something new if I think that it like, if I think that it's really different. Because that's the thing, like the makeup industry is so like oversaturated now that I just kind of don't give a fuck <laughs> about anything that comes out because I'm just like, what else can you do that's like different? What the fucking cremation palette from Jeffree Star? That's what you want? Okay, Th that's what's come to? All right, I don't wanna be a part of it. I don't really feel the need to get rid of a lot of it. I'll go through it occasionally and be like, okay, like I'm really never going to use this. But a lot of the stuff, like I will dip into like one color from one palette and to me that's good enough. And if I get an eye infection because it's six years old, then I get an eye infection. <laughs> I know this video was super random. Maybe it wasn't that interesting to watch. I apologize, my bad. But I'm on my period and my back hurts and this is all I can give you, okay? I hope it was somewhat enjoying anyways. I hope you guys have had a good week, good month. I hope what's going on right now isn't affecting you too bad. It's kind of getting to me, kind of not. I don't fucking know anymore. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.